Welcome to our continued coverage of the TIA Network of the Future Conference. We're here with Same Yamani, Chief Technical Officer, Viavi Solutions. Welcome. Thank you. Let's talk about 5G today. What are the business opportunities that service providers face with the network revolution that 5G will provide? Well, the main thing that 5G is going to provide um, service provider, you're right, it's a revolution that's going to you know, add more flexibility in the way they deliver services. And this flexibility is going to open a huge amount of business opportunities in different verticals. We, we're already talking about connected cars. We're talking about healthcare uh, solution that's going to require uh, different characteristics from the network. We're talking about emergency services that you're going to have to deploy and have a quick latency, high bandwidth. Uh, so there is a lot of different, you know, we call them the next revolution services that's going to require the infrastructure that 5G and the flexibility that you'll be able to personalize the network for these kind of applications. What will this 5G network look like? Is this the enabling technology for the Internet of Things? So 5G is a lot of different technologies and, and it actually it's a broader set of uh, new technologies that cuts different areas of the network. You know, there will be new radio frequency um, and a new spectrum that's going to enable um, a much more what we call enhanced mobile broadband and, and more bandwidth. There is also a new technology that's going to require um, you know, the functionality to be able to be designed for specific verticals, which what, what we call network slicing. So you'll be able to slice the network. Um, the requirements of low latency is going to change also how the access technologies look like, how the RAN technology is going to look like. Um, so we're talking about, you know, um, um, cloud RANs and CRANs. Uh, and then also the transport technology is going to be able to be programmable as well. So we're talking about different kind of what we call, traditionally we had front hole and back hole, now it's cross hole or, um, you know, X hole that, that's going to be uh, connecting the network. And of course, uh, virtualization of the entire resources of the network as well. Will the model for assuring the performance of the network change with 5G? Absolutely. In fact, um, you know, there is a culture change as well that is required for the assurance and test measurement. Traditionally, you design the network, you deploy the network, you try to optimize it, and then you try to manage it and assure it. Well, with the network being able to be delivered in minutes, right? You're gonna have to design it, automate, automatically design it. That requires a lot of the understanding of the analytics of the network that happens at the beginning. So assurance now is gonna become part of the core of the design of the network. I, I call it more of the brain of the network, actually. And then you have to orchestrate these kind of measurements and test and measurements agents across the entire network. So if you create a slice that is going to require low latency and high bandwidth, how you have to be able to also deploy automatically the system that's going to measure that and make sure that the feedback loop is happening this in this way. So that's how the assurance system is going to now become an integral part of um, the entire network delivery as well. Thanks so much for being with us today. You're welcome. Thank you very much.